You're not over there burning that, are you? No, baby. It's going to be cooked to perfection. Ooh, your man excited. I'm excited. You have never cooked for me before. Well, you know I don't usually cook. You know I go out to eat a lot. But under these circumstances, because you're so special to me, I wanted you to have this is like my signature dish. Should pasta be sizzling like that? Yeah, it's got a lot of cheese on it. Oh, okay. Stop questioning my food. Okay. All right, here's the moment of truth. <sighs> <laughs> I feel like I need to pray first. Yes, uh, you should always pray for your food. No, I meant for my safety. Oh, <laughs> Heavenly Father, bless the food. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, try it, babe. Lord, look out for your boy. Oh, Thank Lord. you. Okay, now what is this called? Tortellini. I only make it for the most special people. Britt. What? This is excellent. Let me find out she used to work at a restaurant. Thank Give me a kiss. Give me some sugar. You're not? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not eating? No, I'm not that hungry. I just wanted to cook for you. Let me I, find out you're trying to poison your boy out here. No. <laughs> I actually, it ain't about poisoning, baby. You, I, I'm, I'm just so happy. I, I don't know what has come over me, but I've just been seeing a lot lately. Like, other people's relationships and what's in these streets. And I promise you, it's nothing out here. But I just figured maybe it's time to pour everything into us. Wait, you just now figuring out you want to pour everything into us? I thought that's what we were doing. Well, no, yes, absolutely. We're together. But I'm saying I just feel like, you know, this is the time to go deep, deep. I can respect that. Mm. And besides, if I'm going to be getting meals like this, what, a couple okay. times a week? Yeah, baby. Oh. I'll take care of you, baby. So I done hit the jackpot. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean, I didn't tell you. What? So I was talking to Anthony. He told me that he found out that Diesel is schizophrenic. Really? No, seriously. Yes. That actually makes sense then based on what you were talking about and how he acted that day. I feel bad because for a brief moment, I didn't know what was going on with him. And I was being a little judgmental. Uh, don't be so quick to take that judgment away. Why are you saying that? So my PI called me. All right. We looked at that death certificate, right? We yeah. said there was something a little shady about it. Yeah. Turns out Verna, who's Diesel's wife, is not dead. She's not dead, Dalen. But you had a She's death certificate. Not, it's unauthentic. It. She literally changed her name to Marie. I got an address from my PI where she's living. You have an address for her? I have an address for her. Hmm. This is what I'm telling you. So don't take your judgment off Diesel just yet because we don't know if it's just the schizophrenia. She might be running from him. That's insane to me. So we got to find a time to go over there. Do you know how serious it has to be for a woman to change her name and move off the face of the planet, getting away from somebody? Well, we don't know what the reason is. So let's just find a time to go over there. We're going to investigate it. I love a little investigation. You know, I'm always down for a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> but look, before we get out here being, you know, detectives and everything, I need you to be ready and serious because you got to meet my mom. That's right. Tomorrow is the day to meet your mom. That's right. Did you forget it? No, I didn't forget. Okay. I will be there. On time. I will be there early. Because early is what? On time. On time. <laughs> <laughs> my girl. Hey, man, listen.